please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silent meditation. Greetings, Pound Richard. I'm Nathan. Today's April 4th, 2024, and it's an A-Day. And I'm Nate. Now for today's announcements. Activity period. Today we'll be following an activity bell schedule during the activity period. Students who filled out the, filled out the cot on RAMS CAM Google form should have received an invitation to participate in RAMS Way Bingo for additional rewards in the library. Check into your home room and then report to the library. After the announcements, stay tuned to watch the PRTV club show, Ramtastic. To conclude the activity period today, we'll be showing a replay of the Varsity Boys Lacrosse game against Norwin that was streamed live on March 28th. Recycling. Today, the during the activity period, the Environmental Club will be coming around to collect recyclables. Teachers, please set out your bins. Financial Literacy Month. Did you know that, that, that April is Financial Literacy Month? Each day this month, we will share a financial fact that has been provided by the business department. Did you know that 40% of Americans don't have an emergency fund? Aim for three to six months living expenses to cover unexpected costs. To learn more about managing your money, take the personal finance semester course. If you're interested in investing, considering the stock market club or taking the honors finance and investment semester course. Let's check in with Sam for the fact of the day. Hello, I'm here with your fact of the day. Today, did you know that American flags left on the move will eventually get bleached white by the sun? Back to the front desk. We're going to have to add another flag on the moon pretty soon. I don't think we went to the moon. Now back to more announcements. German Club. Stanley Hudson's not the only one who loves Pretzel Day. German Club does too. Please join the German Club in celebrating National Pretzel Day on Thursday, April 11th. They will be paying honor to this German snack staple through the crafts, games, and trivia activities. Pretzel snacks will also be a part of the fun. The event will take place in the cafeteria during the activity period and is open to all students, not just German club members. You must register in advance by visiting Frau Potain in room 43, add your name to the list, and pick up your pretzel pass to be excused from homeroom. Hope you enjoy the pretzel party pandemonium on April 11th. Thank you. Scholastic Art Awards. 16 Pine Ridge and High School students recently won 38 awards in the regional Scholastic Art and writing award competition. The awards, these awards are considered the, national, the nation's longest running and most prestigious fine arts awards for students. Gold and silver award winning works were displayed at Carnegie Uni Mellon University Fine Arts Building on Saturday, March 23rd. Students were honored in, in an award ceremony. Here's a list of the gold key award winners, silver key award winners, and honorable mentions.
congratulations students. Goki award winners move on to national judging. The results will be announced later this month. Spring Blood Drive. The Spring Blood Drive is taking place today in, green, in the Green Gym. Many thanks to those who are donating blood. You are a hero who is helping save a life. Friendship Walk. Are you up for the challenge and willing to join Pine Richland Best Buddies at the Friendship Walk this year? The event is Sunday, April 7th at Highmark Stadium at Station Square from 9.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. The Best Buddies Friendship Walk is the leading event in the country supporting inclusion for people with intellectual or developmental disabilities. Please consider joining them for the walk or making a donation. Go to the web address at the bottom of your screen to register or make a donation. Theme Day Thursday. Today is Theme Day Thursday. Today's theme is Favorite Location Day, wearing something from a place you visited. The next theme day Thursday will take place April 18th with the theme tie-dye. PRTV Club. The next meeting for the PRTV Club will be held after school Tuesday, April 9th in the room 328. Items on the agenda will be production of Ramtastic and updates through the club's website video. Ramtastic. Attention students, Mr. Kaler will be sending an email later this morning asking you to complete the next fun pool for Ramtastic, which is coming up next after the announcements. Guidance News. The following scholarships, contests, and workshops are now available. Stop in the guidance office or check on Navion's under Colleges tab scholarship list. Now it's time to go to Nathan for our PR TV sports report. I'm Nathan here through sports. Softball. Come and join the softball team for their annual fan appreciation day on Tuesday, April 9th. Come and join, come and support our Rams as they battle their rival North Allegheny. Get free hot dogs and cone ice. Game starts at 4 p.m. Boys tennis. Today the members of the team today. Oh wow, I can't even. Uh, today, members of the team. Okay. Boys tennis. Today, members of the team will compete in the two-day of the Whippeal Section Singles Tournament. The tournament will be held at North Allegheny Senior High School at 11 a.m. Girls lacrosse. Today, the varsity team will be at Alderdice. Game time is at 3:30 p.m. Tonight, the JV teams will be at Upper St. Clair. Game time is at 5:30 p.m. Baseball. Today, the varsity and JV teams will take on Butler. Varsity will be away, and JV will be at home. The first pitch for both games is at 4 p.m. USA National Hockey Championships. Several PRHS students are currently competing in the 2024 USA National Hockey Championships. Brady Wilson, Pittsburgh, Peng Pittsburgh Penguins Elite, Ella Tarasovich, Pittsburgh Penguins Elite, and Sophia Skatina, Steel City Slacks. The championship, will game will, will, the championship game began this past Tuesday and will be ongoing through this Sunday. Pittsburgh Passion Home Opener. On Saturday, May 4th, the, P the Pittsburgh Passion women's football team will play their home opener right here at PR Stadium. Let's take a look at the promo video for the game brought to you by a familiar face. Hey Pine Richland, it's Ms. Malarski. During the day, you can find me here teaching health and PE. However, at night, under the lights, you can find me playing professional women's football for the Pittsburgh Passion. I'm so excited to share with you that our home opening game will be right here on this field on May 4th, kickoff at 6 p.m. Hope to see you there. Towards the end zone, it's a 50-50 ball, hands on, caught! Oh my goodness, off the tip of Malarski, who else? Here we tell you play action, throws it out here to the near side, caught by Malarski, makes a player miss, still on her feet, 40. 35, pushed out of bounds, right at the 20 snap, he's back to pass, looking to the left, throw towards the end zone, got a man caught, touchdown, and that's Malarski, she gets Ellie Malarski wide open, and Ellie got behind, he gets to it, he's got the 25, the 30, 35, and slips him back over the 40s, still under 21, wow, look at that pile, oh my goodness, Ellie Malarski, what's up, man? Oh, oh, she caught it! it. She oh, caught it's it! It's going to be a touchdown. Oh, my word. Caught by number 22, Hello. Ellison Malarski for the touchdown. Right. 
Pretty good video. Kickoff is at 6 p.m. at PR Stadium on Saturday, May 4th. That's all for sports. Back to more announcements. Good luck to our hockey players. Good luck to all our sports. Now let's go to Nate for lunch. Lunch. Today we got pepperoni, cheese filled breadsticks, pepperoni pizza, or cheese filled breadsticks, corn dog, teriyaki chicken sub, fiesta salad, beef or chicken nachos with toppings. Let's go back to the front desk. I cannot wait for that teriyaki chicken sub. I can't wait to get me a big old beefy nachos. Now let's go today for weather. Uh, weather. Today, we got high of 45, low 35, some clouds. Tomorrow, high of 42, low 33, with more clouds. And here's the five day. Let's go back to the front desk. Okay. Those clouds are making me pretty sad. Weather's getting warmer, though. That's all for today. It's an A day, and I'm Nate. And I'm Nathan. Coming up next is this week's episode of Ramtastic. See, See you, Pine Richland. Richland. Welcome to the 19th edition of our show for the year, Ramtastic. In today's show, we will have current events from the greater Pittsburgh area, a fantastic fun fact, and at the end, we will ask you what your favorite spring sport is. Current events, local news. Spirit Airlines announces new nonstop flight to Boston. On Thursday, March 28th, Spirit Airlines announced it will be starting a nonstop flight from Pittsburgh to Boston's Logan International Airport. The 11th flight def destination at Pittsburgh Airport provided by the airline is known for ultra low costs and will begin service on June 5th with one flight to and from Boston per day. The announcement comes just underneath a month after Spirit announced another daily nonstop flight service to New York's LaGuardia Airport, which will run from May 8th to October. PennDOT announced 483 million worth of infrastructure projects. The Pennsylvania Department of Transportation announced information about improvements and renovations to various roads and bridges around the Allegheny area. The work will be done through this year with 48 projects being set to take place. Local sports. On Monday, April 1st, the, P the Pittsburgh Penguins won against the New York Rangers. Currently, they are five points behind the second wildcard team, Washington Capitals, and are behind the New York Islanders and Detroit Red Wings for playoff contention spots. They play the New Jersey Devils, Washington Capitals, and Tampa Bay Lightning next. The Pittsburgh Pirates won 8-4 against the Washington Nationals on Monday, April 1st, extending their undefeated streak to five wins to open out the MLB season. They next play the Nationals two more times and then the Baltimore Orioles in a three-game series. Pymerson Sports. Ice hockey wins PIHL and state championships. On Monday, March 18th, the ice hockey team defeated the North Allegheny Tigers 3-2 to capture the 3A Penguin Cup playoff championship and the PIHL 
3A championship. The team went on to defeat La Seal College High 5-4 on Saturday, March 23rd to win the 3A state championship. Congratulations. Boys tennis. The boys tennis team won against Seneca Valley on March 25th, 4-1. Great job. Baseball. The baseball team won against Cannon McMillan 9-4 on March 28th. Well done. Boys lacrosse. The boys lacrosse team won against Hampton 14-4 on April 1st. Great work. Right, now let's go to Davin for the fun facts. Did you know the next solar eclipse will be seen from the United States will be on August 23rd, 2044? On the other hand, the next lunar eclipse will be to be seen will be a partial eclipse on September 18th of this year and a total eclipse on March 14th, 2025. Will there be an eclipse on April 8th? Beyond a shadow of a doubt. And now back to the main desk. I can't wait to see that eclipse. Now let's take a look at the fun pool. Hi, I'm Davin with the fun pool. This week's question is, what is your favorite spring sport to watch? Baseball, hockey, pro basketball, or college basketball? Stay tuned for a new poll and the results of this week's poll. And now back to the main desk. And now for the newest edition of Thinker Thursday. Thinker Thursday asks random PR students a trivia question and they have to try to answer it. Try to guess the answer before it's revealed. Roll the tape. Who am I here with? Christian. Mr. Andrew Duggar. What is Graham Farrar. Andrew Kirkpatrick. What is the Thank top you. left key of the keyboard? Top left. I'm going to go with one. Oh, no, 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 no. Escape, escape. Correct. Q. Incorrect. Darn. Escape. Correct. The escape key. Correct. What movie costs the most to make? Um. I have no. Idea. I'm gonna go with the uh, the Titanic. Incorrect. Titanic. Incorrect. Avengers Endgame. Incorrect. I believe that is Star Wars The Force Awakens. Correct. What movie made the most money? Uh, Avengers Endgame. Incorrect. Made the most money. Hold on. Hold on. Avatar. Correct. All right. Mm. Avengers Endgame again. Incorrect. That would be Avatar. Correct. Great job, guys. That's all for today. Hope you all enjoyed today's show. Make sure to tune in next week for the latest edition of Ramtastic.
Richland in goal number nine, Callum Grant. Norwood penalty, one minute unnecessary roughness. Hi, Richland goal number 12, Cooper Zankowski, assisted by number 10, Quinn Foster. Originally goal number 12, Cooper Zankowski, assisted by number 25, Sam Ripple.
Richland goal number 18, Rowan Foster. Irish and gold, number nine, down to Grand.
Normally a penalty, 30 seconds for a push. In goal number nine, Callan the Grand, assisted by number 12, Cooper Jankowski. Time wrestling goal number four, Will Hilton. Thanks for 